Hello, I'm Carl Tasker Jr. Welcome to Tasca Lincoln in Cranston, Rhode Island. 2019 marked the 80th anniversary of the Lincoln Continental. And to celebrate, Ford and Lincoln came out with a very special edition. Now, before we go over this vehicle, I'd like to talk about the history of the Continental. In 1939, Edsel Ford commissioned the very first Continental for his own personal use. And since then, an incredible amount of celebrities and important historical figures have driven or been driven in Continentals. Frank Sinatra, Frank Lloyd Wright, Liz Taylor, President Eisenhower, FDR, and JFK all drove or were driven in Continentals. And most recently, with the Entourage television series, the Continental kind of had a resurgence in popularity. So what we have here is a coach door edition Lincoln Continental. Starts life off as a top of the line black label edition Continental, which means the twin turbocharged 400 horsepower all wheel drive powertrain the infinitely adjustable seats, the glass roof, the Revel sound system, pretty much everything you could possibly get in the Continental. And then it's sent to Cabot Coach Builders in Haverhill, Massachusetts. And what they do is pretty incredible because when you first look at the vehicle, it looks like there's only been minor changes to it. You can tell it's a little longer. Of course, notice the center handle doors. But when you realize what they've done, pretty much the entire rear passenger side of the car is bespoke. So let's get into the details. A regular Continental, for the nerds out there like me, the door is cut into the wheel arch. What Cabot did here was they totally altered the sheet metal, obviously moving the door to a straight line here without disturbing the lines of the car. So looking at the vehicle, now this is black, and on a black car inside under these lights, you cannot hide any imperfections in the sheet metal or in the paint. And the car looks totally factory. Now, full disclosure, this particular vehicle was built, obviously, in Haverhill, which isn't that far away from where I am right now. So my father, Carl, Carl Sr., and my uncle, Bob Jr., personally went to the facility to inspect this car. So this may be the most scrutinized Coach Edition Lincoln in the galaxy. So I can actually say it's flawless, because if there were flaws, they would have found them. And this car is absolutely perfect. The fit and finish, uh, the level of craftsmanship, Cabot really went above and beyond for this particular car, as befits a Continental. So let's look at the doors. The vehicle itself is six inches longer. The six inches were added to the rear passenger side. It doesn't, as I said, doesn't disturb the lines of the car. This doesn't look like a car that was made into something it wasn't supposed to be. You would maybe want to say that all Cabot did was accentuate or embellish the already great lines of the car. Illuminated center door handle. Electronic opening, or soft close as they call it. So when you go to close the car, you don't have to slam it, which is pretty cool. Especially when you have kids that love to slam doors. Opening this up, you'll see a perfect 90 degrees of opening for the door. It makes ingress and egress, which is the fancy way of saying getting in and out of it, a lot easier. So I'm going to hop in it. I'm not a large person. I'm only five foot eight, give or take. Obviously, there's a lot more room back here, as is befitting the coach experience. But, you know, good leg room, good head room, good shoulder room. The extra six inches added to the back of this car make a huge difference and transform from a vehicle that you want to drive to a vehicle that you also want to be driven in. So let's close the door, which by the way is not hard. Grab it. Door is very light compared to other um, center exit coach door vehicles. A couple cool things here. This retains all the amenities of a black label. So you have the center stack here that controls climate control, radio, audio, pretty much everything you want. But also, and this is very cool, you can control the passenger seat. Now, why would you do this? To aggravate your spouse, to upset your father. Or you get in the vehicle and you want to give yourself extra leg room. And this really accentuates the experience. If this is truly a vehicle you're going to be driven in. I don't know many people. My cousin Michael is six foot four. There's enough leg room in this vehicle for him. I mean, it's still going. So you can put that forward pretty much as much as you need. Tons of leg room. You can lay down. You can be very comfortable in the vehicle. Um, you also 
have massaging rear seats, which are nice. You can adjust, make some adjustments. It's a very comfortable place to be. And with all the sound insulation and with all the, let's say, technology employed by Lincoln to create a very quiet atmosphere, it's a very, very relaxing place to be. A lot of vehicles that you're driven in, think of the last time you were in a limo, think of the last time you were driven to and from the airport. All the technology was applied by the manufacturer to make the front of the car quiet. That's where you have the laminated glass. That's where you have the extra sound deadening material. Lincoln has applied all that technology to the back of this vehicle, and Cabot has enhanced it even further, which means that this car is comfortable everywhere. The front seats are a great place to be. Obviously, with 400 horsepower, the car is fun to drive, even with the added six inches of room and the added wheelbase. It actually rides better than a standard Continental because of the extra wheelbase. It helps it absorb a few more of the bumps on the road. And in New England, you'll notice a difference. Um, but overall, very luxurious place to sit. You have the inflatable rear seat belts. A lot of times when you get into a, a coach built car or a limousine of some type, the majority of the safety was employed in the front of the vehicle, but with the inflatable seat belts, the side airbags, all the technology put into safety, it's a very safe place to be in the back of the vehicle. So one more thing, open up this elegant little compartment, insulated. And you have what Lincoln says is a nice place to put a bottle of champagne. We suggest after talking with legal counsel to check your local and state laws for driving around with champagne in your car. But for those of us um, from New England, a nice large iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts does fit there nicely. Seal it up. Also kind of cool that the uh, wood applique is integrated into this and the grain all goes in the same direction. Little things for nerds to notice. So now let's get out of the car. Very easy, you press the button, swings open. So you can't talk about a car with coach doors without doing what I like to call the money shot, which is opening up all of them so you can have the full pass-through visibility. This type of door is only available on one other type of vehicle, which is a Rolls Royce, which is considerably more expensive than what we have here. For 2019, only 80 of these units were built. And for 2020, the popularity was so great and the car sold out so quickly that they're gonna build just a few more, somewhere between 100 and 200 more with about 120 coming to the United States. Lincoln is not building the Continental anymore after this model year, sadly. So this is literally your last chance to get a Coach Edition Continental. This is one of the very few available in New England. And while there are many different color combinations, there's something about the black metallic on the light interior with the dark wood that looks absolutely exquisite. To learn more or to see this car in person, visit us at Tasca Lincoln, 1300 Pontiac Avenue in Cranston. You will be satisfied. <laughs>